globally, two-thirds of all agricultural land are not usable to grow crops. There is no such thing as a leather farm. Leather is a byproduct of the meat industry and unfortunately we have many challenges in this world. That is one of them. People need to eat. I think there's definitely a disconnect between people and their food source. I think it's really important that people learn more about agriculture and where their food comes from. We have a great opportunity in our, in our hands right now. Uh, the future is not defined. We have to produce a lot of food in very efficient ways in order to feed all of those people. And frankly, we've been doing it very well. If you look in the last couple decades, we've pulled millions of people globally out of poverty and we've been able to feed them like humans never have in history. There are many different reasons as to why we use livestock, right? And people most often think of meat, but meat in the case of cattle, for example, is just one of 400 products. I've heard people say that some feel that the, the sole purpose for that animal to be slaughtered is for their hide, which could not be any further from the truth. I mean, the reason that we raise livestock, whether it's beef cattle, pigs, sheep, we raise those cattle, the, the, the rancher, the farmer, uh, the feeder, the processor, that is, that is done primarily for meat consumption. I think that if you're an owner of a restaurant, um, or if you're a consumer in general, I think that you have, to a certain extent, an obligation to sustainability. Um, I say that as a parent. Um, I say that as a, a business owner. Um, sustainability comes into play when we talk about what our future looks like. And so if we're not worrying about it now, then we won't have it in the future. Yeah, so we are 45 minutes north of San Francisco. We're about 30 minutes east from the Point Reyes National Seashore. So I'm Melissa Daniels, and I have been ranching my entire life. I've been raising cattle since I could walk. It's really not a great place to grow crops here. It's just way too windy. It's way too steep. It's worth understanding that around the world, uh, different regions, different landscapes, different land uh, is not capable of delivering the same outputs. So we have grasslands, we have wetlands, we have deserts, uh, we have really good grazing land, and we have really good arable land. But you can't produce crops on all land around the world. Not just in California, not just in the UK, but globally, two-thirds of all agricultural land are not usable to grow crops. They are what's called marginal lands, and the only land use for those marginal lands is through ruminant livestock such as cattle. Uh, cattle, sheep, they, they are built, their stomachs are built to digest plant material that we as humans cannot consume. A lot of times that plant material is in locations that we as humans cannot get to. The beauty of these animals is that they can utilize those marginal lands, though they can utilize the areas that we cannot crop. Here, in this area on the Somerset levels, the reason why we have to have livestock farms is because the ground is not suitable for growing crops. It's far too wet for arable land, so it is livestock and cattle are really your only option. When we grow crops, we're taking nutrients out of the soil. And we do have to replace those nutrients to keep it sustainable for the future. What livestock grazing can do is enhance that soil health. This area right here, uh, as you can see, the grass is nice and green. Um, the cattle eat the grass here and then um, they produce manure and the manure fertilizes the soil, puts carbon back in the soil and it um, brings back healthy growth. If you're only looking at one part of the cycle, you can understandably think that cattle are part of the problem. 
Cattle emit, emit methane. Methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. It does contribute to warming. But if you don't understand the rest of that cycle and that rest of that system, then you're not really taking into account the full context of what is a natural cycle and a natural system. Using livestock is not a waste of a resource. It is making the best use of our limited resources. And that's what we've got to do in times of a global, growing human population with limited natural resources. There's no such thing as replacing leather. Uh, leather at its, at its heart is a recycling industry, uh, and that's because uh, there are not many uses for a cattle hide, especially uh, outside of leather production purposes. A hide at best is worth about three to five percent of the value of the animal. Uh, at worst, it's worth nothing, and it goes into, into a landfill. Our goal is to limit what goes to the landfill. We're here to take care of our environment and to be stewards of the land and take care of our animals and try to utilize as much as we can.